Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bolts and Boost. Today is a bittersweet day. Uh, I'm selling one of the vehicles in the stable. Which one do you think it is? And the Forester, I guess. It's, it's the vet. It's the vet. I'm selling the vet. Uh, I just got it, what, three months ago? And I'm letting her go. It's bittersweet, I know, I know. Um, it is a fabulous car. I, uh, I now know how underrated these things are and I truly appreciate what they are like I didn't before. When I owned it, I did a lot of research on it. Um, they're honestly great cars. I was offered basically break even for it. Um, I thought to myself, well, I hummed and hawed about it. Um, and in the end, I decided to sell it just for the sole fact that um, same reason as a super, basically. I'm, 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 I have some opportunities on the table for investing. And uh, my wife and I are, are investing in some real estate. And it would just be nice. And we're having a kid, too, right? Like, we're having a baby. Uh, not that I... I think any of the money will go to that because we should be we should be just a okay whether I keep the vet or not. But I just think it's nice to have the cash flow in hand, and I have an extremely fun car right here. When I when I, every time I drive this thing, huge smile on my face. So I know I'm keeping a, a good car, and the Corvette, like I said, super super underrated car. If you have a chance to drive one, I totally totally recommend you do so. Uh, this is a very, very clean example. And the guy who is purchasing, purchasing this one has been looking for this car, exact car, for a long time. I seem to get the really, 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 really nice examples. And uh, people want them, of course. And, and the reason why I get the nice examples is because when, when time does come to let them go, I get top dollar for them. There's less back and forth about them, you know, yada, yada, yada. I am including everything I've purchased with the vet. Uh, so the new owner will have absolutely everything he can pick up where I left off. Now, what's next? That is a great question. I'm going to ask you guys what's next. I ask that because as soon as we, we were talking about uh, him taking the vet, I've been looking on our classifieds. I cannot believe the cars that thirty to forty thousand dollars gets you nowadays. I'm a JDM guy, man. Uh, as you guys all know, I'm a car enthusiast. Don't get me wrong, and I would own any of the big three, um, you know, American muscle cars. But like, I'm a JDM guy, so I'm looking at all these JDMs, and it's hard not to buy an American car. For instance, today, I was looking at a Magnuson supercharged 2011 Camaro making 650 horsepower documented, fully built, not fully built, but transmission was built. It had all the fixings to make 650 horsepower reliably. It was $29,000. $29,000 doesn't even get you an NA five-speed or, or automatic nowadays. Supra, Canadian dollars. $29,000 doesn't get you a RX-7 FD. You know, I'm, I'm talking generally, it doesn't. Uh, there are examples out there, I'm sure, with high mileage and broken pieces that'll, you know, fetch that. But I just can't bring myself to grips. I've been in all of these cars. I've owned most of these cars. And there's quirks about all of them because of the age. You always get interior pieces that are broken or falling apart or the manufacturer doesn't make parts for them and you're still paying $50,000 for these things. So right now, the value, in my opinion, is in American cars. And I'm not generally an American car guy, even though I respect them and I love them. I grew up with them. I'm a JDM car guy. This is a great example, this car. I bought this thing for around $15,000 Canadian landed to my door. You know what this thing is now if I wanted to get this in auction? Twenty-five dollars to 30000 bucks. 
I could never come to grips with spending that kind of money on this thing. Even though it's it's hugely fun and, and, and you know, I don't know. It, it'd be hard to replicate this car, I think, for the dollar right now. Another example is Evolutions. Evolution 1s and 2s, which parts are extremely hard to find. Uh, and transmission or transfer cases are completely discontinued. No one's making them anymore. And they're 30000 bucks Canadian in Japan, plus the cost to get them here. It's just like, who is buying that? Because you're going to have to spend a lot of money and you probably won't even find certain pieces. It's just like crazy. The market is crazy. So what am I doing right now? I have decided I'm going to keep all of the cash and use it for originally what it was intended for, which is um, straight up investing. I'm going to invest it. I already have a couple things on the go. Uh, so I'm going to just um, feed some funds into there and start a little bit of uh, new stuff on the side. And maybe I'll buy a ten to $15,000 uh, car that I intend to turn into a track car. Um, I was looking at a Grand Sport C6, so something's gonna come down the pipe. It did well eventually. I think for now it's almost winter time. Um, I'd rather not hold someone else's inventory in my garage over winter. But know that something's coming and it's not set in stone. It could be JDM, it could be American, doubtfully German. Uh, but something's coming down the pipe. It should be fast or powerful, <laughs> one of the two. Uh, I really, really, really want to find a rust-free Civic hatch and drop a K20 into it. That's That would be awesome. But I'm addicted to horsepower too, so I might just get a Z06 C6, might get a C6 Grand Sport, I don't know. But please, if you're here for the vet, don't leave yet. Um, there just might be another vet in its place. So uh, as always, I really, really appreciate all the viewers I get. Um, let's stay connected. Talk to me in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you would do. Let me know what you think of the market. The market is crazy right now. Just absolutely bonkers. And it's sad. You know, the only car that I find right now priced reasonable, and reasonable being meaning that it did appreciate, but it didn't go, is a Aristo. Um, yeah, that's a 161 Aristo. That's, that's basically the only car I'm finding. MR2s, MR2 Spiders, they're all doing this price-wise. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me talking. I know it's not um, a joyful thing to sell a car, especially if you followed the channel because of it. But um, I do have both Subarus here. Um, I will be continuing, obviously, filming the Subarus. I'll be filming friends' cars. I'll be filming the Jag. I'll be filming whatever replaces this, if it replaces it before winter, after winter. I just, it's a big question mark right now. So uh, stay with me and, you know, stick with the channel and um, whatever I get next, obviously, will be another adventure. I'm really hoping to get into autocross or road racing. So we'll see how life goes with the little guy in the picture, too. So, uh, yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All right. Peace, y'all.